My lecturer stressed to us the importance of having of building a community and obviously building a community is a process but the importance of reading a lot of work before you start writing. So online on our Moodle site, on our URW site, we all shared our Twitter handles and our WordPress URLs and we posted it on there in our tutorial groups so everyone can access our details and we can all follow each other. So I went through the other groups and followed more because I thought with more to read I can engage in more ideas and just get more just get more concepts for my own writing and I just think yeah reading it it definitely turned into something that's actually quite important. I didn't realise how important reading a lot of work is until my tutor and lecturer stressed how important it was. WordPress makes it really easy for you to follow your peers and see what they're constantly updating on their blog and their ideas because you can click on in the top left hand side you can click on a button that says reader and that'll show you in sequential order what the what your community on WordPress is posting kind of like your Facebook feed or your Twitter feed you can just scroll through the posts and it'll give you a snapshot of their topics and maybe a, an image or something that they've included and it's really quite helpful to scan and definitely click on the ones that you think would really help with your writing and the topics that you're covering each week. We were asked to make an introductory post as the very first blog post for our subject. The introductory post is really important to set up not only who you are but who you are to your readers and your community and your basically your place within the community. Um, it's, it's an extension of what you're interested in, so obviously that's going to resonate with different types of people and different types of bloggers. So what I wrote included what I was interested in and my writing style. So people who are interested in that can then follow me. If it's in keeping with theirs, maybe we're very similar or maybe we're totally opposite and they just enjoy how I write. So it's it's definitely helpful in forming a readership that enjoys your writing and your sensibilities. Reading is 50% of what blogging is all about really. It's not only what you say and your thoughts but it's also um, making sure that you use your time to understand what other people are blogging about because it's it's not just you and the blogosphere, it's, it's the whole world. So if you're reading what they're saying and maybe you agree or have a different thought or maybe you can add to what they're saying you can comment or like or maybe even tweet what they're saying and it's all about um, it's all about collaboration and just uh, it's like a transactional process of yeah it's all about conversation